where should I live in Phoenix or what is the best area for me to live in in Phoenix? So today's video is going to be a little bit of a deeper dive into that. It's not going to be your typical video where an agent sits there and tells you about the schools in a neighborhood and different things like that. I'm actually going to break this down in a little bit more of a logical way for you. So hang tight and we'll dive right in. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Kelly Norton. I'm known as the AZ Realty Lady. And for those of you who don't know me, I am a Valley native and a real estate agent of over 20 years right here in the Valley of the Sun. All right, so let's take a, a little deeper dive here into this question of where should I move to or how do I pick the location of where I should live in Phoenix? So I, what I do is I like to have people ask themselves a few questions. And with those questions, hopefully it'll help you kind of think a little bit more outside the box and help narrow down those locations for you. So number one, do you have to go into town to work or can you work from home? And are you retired? Do you have anything that you need to do on a daily basis? Ask yourself those questions. What is it that you need to do on a daily basis that will require travel? That way you can know what threshold you have with travel. Do you want to be within 20 minutes of where you need to go? Do you want to be 10 minutes where you go? Or are you okay with 30 or 40 minutes? So you need to ask yourself those questions. That way we can help narrow down the distance for driving. Now you also wanna think about, what do I do on my time off? So if you're retired, that's all your time off. <laughs> so you wanna ask yourself, all right, so on the weekends, where do I wanna be? Do I wanna to have to drive a ton on my days off or do I wanna have a bunch of little bars right around the corner where I can catch an Uber or, or, or a uh, Lyft and be right home with just in a few minutes? So you have to really kind of think about your lifestyle and what's important to you, what's close to you. Some people like to be right in the mix of it all and like to be close to a downtown, close to um, different sporting events, close to public transportation. Think about things that are important to you. Um, I personally don't like to live in the hustle bustle. I like driving home and getting a completely different terrain. So I'm getting away from the freeway. I'm starting to see more cactus, more mountains. That's my vibe for when I go home. I want to feel like I am not in the big city. So you just have to figure out what, what it is that works for you. Now, if you're looking for an area that's surrounded more by mountains, you might consider Ahwatukee, uh, which is a suburb of Phoenix, and it's backed up on the north side of South, or I'm sorry, the south side of South Mountain. And that's off of the uh, I-10. So as you're heading towards um, the I-10 East and you're heading towards Maricopa or Tucson, Ahwatukee Foothills is just tucked in uh, on the west side. And it's just on the south side of the South Mountain. You might also consider North Peoria. You might also consider Australia Mountain Ranch, which is in Goodyear. Um, there's Gold Canyon in the very far East Valley. Um, I know I'll leave a couple of them out here, but there's also Fountain Hills, Carefree and Cave Creek, and then Verado and Buckeye. That also has great mountains. So again, you just have to decide how far out you want to be. Uh, Gold Canyon is quite a ways to the east. I mean, it is a good solid hour plus from Phoenix. Um, Buckeye is going to put you 45 minutes plus from Phoenix as well um, and in Verado. Uh, so you just want to kind of have a feel of what your threshold is for where you're going to be living and um, it, it, where you're going to work and what you need to do on a daily basis. So definitely ask yourself those questions. So then also going back to kind of one of the, the things that's important to a lot of people is uh, schools. So if schools are important to you, then you want to look at what uh, the public schools are in the area. You can check out greatschools.com. Uh, 
Also, there's charter schools and private schools here in the Valley as well. And there's a lot of them now. There used to not be that many. So there's a lot of really great schools. So just text me. I'd be happy to give you a list um, just based on what your needs are. So um, again, you can text me or call me. Um, if you're looking to buy or sell, you can text me or call me. Or if you have a question about something, Texting and calling me is the best. You can also email me, but for some reason the email gods don't like me and they do happen to lose some of my emails now and again. So texting and calling is the best way to reach me. All right, so um, another thing to think about uh, is gonna be family and friends. So a lot of people move to the Valley because they know someone that lives in the area and they visited them and they love it here. So think about how often you're gonna be visiting that person and think about the commute. Um, is this someone that has the same age children as you and they're gonna be playing often? Is this someone that um, you're happy to be in the same state but you maybe don't want them right next door? <laughs> so maybe 30, 40 minutes might be good for them. So just keep that in mind, just think about all of these different components. So number one, what is your work life like? At home or do you have to drive? Number two, are you retired? What things do you do for fun? What do you wanna do on the weekend? What do you want to have access to when you're not working? Number three, maybe think about schools. Number four, um, is this an area that is too close or not close enough to family and friends? And then also think about um, mountains and hiking, things to do with pets. These are all gonna be important. So I'm happy to help narrow this down for you. So again, feel free to call me or text me. I'm Kelly Norton, I'm your AZ Realty Lady. I help people that look to relocate too or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. And until next time, take care guys, bye-bye.